this fire practice is going to be a hands-free flow so that we can give our wrists a break from all the vinyasa, all the down dog, all the chaturanga, and just learn to actually stabilize the body more from the core and from the power of the legs. And so here we go. Start at the top of your mat in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. We'll take Mountain Pose, Tadasana with the feet apart, hips distance. You could even go a little bit wider if that helps you feel more stable and free. Rest your arms down by your sides. Okay, stand tall. Unlock your knees. Take a moment. You're welcome to close your eyes or have a soft gaze. Bring your attention inside and start by really feeling down and into the feet. Feel your connection to the earth. You press down to the balls of your big toes and then pull back and press the inner corners of your heels. Press the balls of your baby toes and the outer part of your heel. Okay, root evenly through these four corners of your feet. Okay, deepen and lengthen your breath and start to scan your physical body with your breath and with your awareness. I'm just checking in to see where you're starting from on this day. And so we feel our connection to the earth, the support rising up through the legs, draw all the way up, lift through your heart, enjoying your palms at heart center. Let's open with the sound of OM. And take a nice deep breath in. Relax your arms, open your eyes, and inhale, reach all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana. Hold your left wrist, and as you exhale, lean over to your right side. Engage your legs with so a strong embrace, muscle to bone. Push down to the four corners of your feet. Inhale, lift up, switch your wrist, and exhale to your left side. Thank you. Cultivating strong but smooth, deep, fluid breathing, ujjayi breathing. Okay, inhale, rise up. And as you exhale, take your hands behind your, as you take your hands onto your thighs, heel toe your feet out a little bit wider and then turn your toes out. Bend your knees, start to arch your spine with your groin's back, and then roll all the way down through your spine. Tone your navel, root through your legs, and inhale, roll all the way back up. Exhale, extend the spine as you go down and low, and inhale as you rise all the way up. Right, three more big spinal waves in your own rhythm. And the fluidity of the spine, right, the fluidity of the breath, a little bit of strength and energy through your legs. As you rise up that last round, walk your feet back in, reach up. And now as you exhale, take your hands behind your back. Either use a strap to make contact or connect your hands right down on top of left. Lift your shoulders up and back. As you exhale, bend your knees, hinge your hips back, and come forward into Baddha Hasta Uttanasana. Let's start with the knees bent. And keep lifting your shoulders up and away from the floor and allow your head and your neck and your jaw to release. And then bend your left knee and turn your torso to the right side. Folding it over your legs. Bend your right knee and turn and twist over to the left. Hold over your legs. Bring your fingertips to the floor, but without weight bearing in the hands or else hands to your shins. Inhale, rise up halfway, get long through your spine. Draw your lower back in. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees, reach back and then now clasp your left thumb over your right. Reach your knuckles up, shoulders up, but soften the back of your heart down. Keep your legs really strong, big embrace of muscle to bone. Now bend your right knee and turn and twist to your left. On an exhalation, fold over your legs. Okay, bend your left knee, turn and twist the other direction. And then all the way down over your legs. 
Right, begin to bend your knees and lower your hips. And this time as you inhale, sweep your hands forward and rise into Utkatasana to your pose. Get long through your spine. Exhale, pulse and flow your arms back like airplane wings. Inhale, sweep arms, rise up. And exhale to get back. One more time, inhale, Utkatasana, fierce pose. Stay in Utkatasana, sort of lower your hips down and back. Take care of your knees and carefully sit down, <laughs> pick your legs up, boat pose. You can use your hands to support the back of your knees. You can also keep your fingertips on the floor for more stability or float your arms. Then lift and lengthen through your legs, lift up through your heart, keep your vision up, elevated. And then we're gonna to start to pulse the arms and legs. So move your arms and your legs independently of each other. Like you're just flat, kind of floating around like seaweed in the ocean. Right? Be kind of fluid and free and not too repetitive. Keep working with different sort of movements to wake up all kinds of muscles through the core, through the inner thighs, and through your legs and your back. And then come right back up into the boat. And set your feet down, tone through your navel, and slowly lower onto your back. All right, lift your knees. Just give yourself a little squeeze. Rock from side to side. Okay, and then abdominal brace. Please lift your shins parallel to the floor. Make a 90 degree angle with your legs. Flex your feet, spread your toes. And put your hands on the front of your thighs. Bring your front ribs down into your body and start to push your hands and your legs together. Let your jaw stay soft. Push hands to thighs, thighs to hands, front ribs in. So you feel this deep, almost like a corset of energy through your abdominal area. This is called abdominal brace. It really push hands and thighs, thighs and hands together until you feel these deep core muscles turn on. And then go ahead and release it. Hold the outer feet. Let's come into happy baby pose. Ananda Balasana. Right, pull the outer edges of your feet down. So you have some energy moving from feet through the legs down into your hips. Tilt your pelvis until your sacrum meets the earth. Just enjoy another deep, full breath here in the supine form. Now let's bring the inner edges of the feet together. Um, just the big toe, like the sides, the sides of your big toes and the inner heels connect. Keep peeling the baby toe side of your foot down using the help of your hands. Apply that same action of the abdominal brace to your core, front ribs in, belly in. With your legs in this position, hook your thumbs and reach your arms behind your head. Take a deep inhale and exhale, lift up and push your hands forward. And inhale, reach back. Exhale, rise up, reach forward, curl your tailbone. And inhale back. Three more times, little happy baby sit-ups. <laughs> On this last one, come up and then try to hook your elbows in front of your shins all the way up. Squeeze your feet, flare your fingers. It's like a little crow pose on your back. And then lie down. Hug your knees into your chest. Hold the back of your right leg. Take your foot to the ceiling. Reach your left leg out long for Supta Parangustasana. Okay. Energize your legs. So very big embrace. We're drawing a lot of strength and stability into the legs. We're going to do some standing poses in a moment. Okay. Learning how to really work different parts of the body instead of always just demanding so much out of our wrists and our arms in a yoga practice. Hold your foot with your right hand or use a strap or take your right hand to the back of your leg to the hamstrings and let's open the leg on a diagonal to the right side. Supta Parangustasana B. Strengthen your left leg, turn your thigh in, 
and try to root your inner left thigh toward the floor. And then take your right leg all the way up and simply release it, switch sides. Okay, hold the back of your left leg, take it up for Supta Padang Gustasana. Reach your right leg out long. The leg that's on the floor needs to turn internally more and root down, ground it into the earth. You're welcome to use your strap or hold your foot or hold behind the leg. And now open it off to this side, Supta Padan Gustasana B. With strengthening your legs, you start to stretch from your pelvis out through your legs. There's an expansive energy from inside that radiates out through the periphery of your body. Please draw your leg back up. Bend your knee, bring both knees into your chest. Flex your feet, squeeze your knees together, keep them together, and open your arms to a cactus on the floor. Keeping your knees together to the best of your ability, twist to the right, don't let your legs touch the ground. Okay, notice how the right knee will scoot forward to the left knee. Keep your knees together, so you're really moving the twist through your mid thoracic spine. You tone the navel. And inhale, come to center. Okay, exhale and take your legs over to your left. This is Jatara Parivartanasan, revolved abdomen pose. Okay, scoot the knees all the way together and push the bottom shin up into the top shin. Inhale, back up. All right, hook your thumbs, reach your arms up. And on your exhalation, reach up and over to your left. You should take your knees a little bit to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, rise up, reach over to your right side. Knees go a little to the left. Inhale back. Exhale, come up, reach to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, reach to the right. One more time. Inhale, reach back. Exhale to the left, stay here. Hook your arm and your leg together. Flex your feet, spread your hands apart like a little side crow. Bend your elbows. Inhale to the center. And now reach up and over to your right side. Make contact, elbow and knee. Bend your elbows, flare your fingers. Keep pushing the arm and leg together to revolve more of your belly to the right side. and come back to center. All right, hold the back of your hamstrings if you need a little bit more support or without holding anything, we're gonna rock and roll three times. We're gonna land on the feet in a forward fold. So drive your legs in, or to rock and roll. On the third time, come to your feet with or without the help of your hands. Ooh, <laughs> Uttanasana forward fold. Okay, so put your feet out, hips width, spread your toes. And as you inhale, rise halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and fold. Okay, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, arms up. As you exhale, rise, palms forward. Take a huge inhale, make your body long in both directions. And exhale, bend your elbows and curl into a little back bend. Okay, strengthen your legs. Lift your heart. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold Uttanasana bow all the way down. Okay, bend your knees, Uttkatasana, head to your hips. Lift your arms. And this time as you exhale, pulse your arms back like airplane wing and step your left foot back to lunge. Push down to your right foot. Inhale, rise up. High crescent pose, arms to the sky. Pull your feet isometrically together. And keep the scissoring power of your legs as you descend your hips. Take another inhale, get longer, get taller. Exhale, hands to heart, bow forward. Step into your right foot and bring your left foot to meet it. Chair pose, inhale, hips low, arms up. Exhale, stand. Take a big breath in. And exhale, curl to cactus. Shoulders back, boost your heart higher. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, Uttanasana, fold in. 
Bend your knees for chair pose, which could have to float your arms up. On your exhalation, pulse, arms back like you're playing wings. Walk your right foot back. Press into your front foot. Inhale, arms forward and up. Rise to crescent lunge. Any full inhalation, get a lot of lift, a lot of decompression up, out of your spine. And on the exhale, hands to heart, fold. Push into your left foot, step forward. This time, straighten your legs, fold forward. Uttanasana, fingertips to the floor. The inhale, rise halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend knees, lower hips, inhale to Uttkatasana. And exhale, draw your hands to heart, mountain pose. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, cactus and curl open. Inhale, rise, lifting through the back ribs. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold in. Inhale, heavy your hips, rise to Utkatasana, chair pose. With the exhale, pulse, arms back. Step your left foot back. And inhale, high crescent lunge, rise up. This time as you exhale, take a big twist, a prayer twist, left elbow to your right leg. Push your elbow and knee together for resistance. Like we practiced on the back, tone the navel, move your abdomen more to the right side. Pull your right hip back, so there's some stability and strength through the pelvis. And you stay really long through your spine here as you twist. And push down strongly through your right foot, and on your inhale, lift up and open warrior two. And ground your left heel. You gotta really trust in the power of the legs for these big transitions with no hands. Turn your right palm up, inhale, flow back to reverse your warrior. And as you're reaching back, please straighten your front knee. Hug muscle to bone, stay steady through your legs. Exhale all the way into triangle pose, Uttita Trikonasana, very similar to the sh shape we just made lying on the back. So you're welcome to put your hand on a block or on your right shin or on the floor. The purpose of this practice is just not to do extreme weight bearing in the hands. But sometimes we need the fingertips on the floor for stability. Strengthen your legs, push your inner thighs back, push, pull your shoulders back, throat back. And then with very strong legs, ground into your feet and inhale, lift up. Bend your right knee, warrior two. And from Virabhadrasana two, take your left arm, draw it down. Start to spin it all the way up. As you turn your left foot out, bend both knees. We're in a big goddess stance. Turn your palms up. This is a gesture like a full body form called prana mudra. There's also a hand mudra called prana mudra. This one's a little different. Drink in the life force here. Thank you. Stay low through your pelvis. And now as you exhale, circle your arms, take your hands onto your thighs, descend your pelvis even more. Take your left shoulder forward, do a little side body twist to the right. And then out to the center. And exhale, right shoulder comes down as you turn and twist to your left. Inhale to the center, heavy your hips. Circle the arms down and around and back into this form of prana mudra, drinking it in. Take your left arm, we're gonna keep circling it all the way around. Turn the left foot around, face the front of your mat again. Sweep your arms up, crescent lunge. You push into your front foot for stability. Root into the right foot, and as you exhale, stand up, lift your left knee into your chest, palms by your sides, palms up. Cross ankle to knee, hands to heart. Come into this form of Ardha Utkatasana, a little hip opening form. And move your inner thighs back, move your groins back. Keep your left foot strongly flexed. And then from here, we will take the fingertips to the floor, uncross your legs, and fold Uttanasana forward bend. We inhale, rise halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, fold in. 
Bend your knees, head to your hips, and help chair pose reach up. And on the exhalation, pulse back, palms up, and walk your right foot to the back of your mat. Follow the breath, sweep forward and up, crescent lunge all the way to the top. And on the exhalation, a big twist, a prayer twist, and pravritta, parshva konasana, revolve side angle pose to your left. The twist needs stability that we create by squeezing the feet toward each other. Pull the outer left hip back and into the midline. Okay, push your elbow and front knee together and then tone the navel as you turn. Use your core to twist. Stay really soft through your eyes. Okay, take another full breath. You now push down through your left foot. We're going to warrior two. Inhale, rise up, ground your back heel, sweep your arms out, Vira Bhadrasana number two. Find your feet. Lift your left hand up, inhale, reach back and reverse. Straighten your front knee, firm your legs as you reach back. And exhale, reach long to your left side, Uttipta Trikonasana, triangle pose. Stretch from your pelvis down through your legs. And from that place in your center, pulse through your spine, reach through your arms. This expansive radiance from inside out, all the way out. Root down through your feet. Inhale, start to lift up. And as you bend your left knee, you're up a Johnson, the number two. Same thing, we're gonna take the left arm down, make it into a full circle. As you turn your feet out, bend your knees, prana mudra. Widen your knees, lift up here through the heart. And this time on the exhale, let's go hands high, interlock your fingers, index fingers up, left thumb over the right. Descend your hips low. Make sure your knees point over your ankles. Eyes on the horizon, draw your front ribs in. Now, if you want a little extra juice, lift your heels, come onto your tiptoes, and descend your pelvis even lower. Now, ground your heels, and slowly take this to warrior two, facing the front. Keep circling the right arm down and around. Lift your right heel, crescent lunge. And left foot is forward. You're gonna stand on the left foot in just a moment, take a huge inhale. On the exhale, stand, lift your right knee into your chest. Keep your palms by your sides, palms up. Cross your right ankle to your left knee, join your palms, then grind back. <laughs> Balance is tricky for me. Heart forward. Ardha Utkatasana. Little hip opening horn. Enjoy another deep breath. And then lightly fingertips down, uncross your legs and fold, Uttanasana. All right, wiggle your feet together so the inner edges of the big toes touch, similar to what we did on the ground. Okay, bend your knees, heavy your hips, Uttanasana. As you exhale, twist Keep your left elbow over your right leg, for Paravritta Uttakatasana, revolved, fierce pose. Tone your navel, move the abdomen more to the right side. You draw your shoulders back. Stay low with your pelvis, gaze down, and then slowly walk your left foot to the back. And slow motion, take your left knee to the ground. You know, into Push into your right foot, inhale, lift up, arms up. We're in a low lunge. All right, curl your heart up and open. As you exhale, cactus here, shoulders back. We want to get the opening and expanse of the heart, arm bones back, and lift your scapula to the back of your rib cage. Inhale, take your arms up. And as you exhale, draw your hips back, straighten your right knee, flex your foot, arms back like airplane wings. A little floating half split, Ardha Hanuman. We bend your right knee, 
Lift your arms, lift your back knee up, crescent pose. Trust your legs, trust yourself. Good. Push into your right foot. We're gonna stand all the way up into Tadasana. So push into your right foot and rise up. Left foot meets the right. And trust your legs and your ability to take a stand. That's one of the empowerments of all of the standing poses that we do. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, full Uttanasana. Bend your knees, lower your hips. Come into the final chair pose of this practice, arms up. And now exhale, take that big twist, right elbow over your leg. Create the stability, elbow to knee, and use the power of your core to deepen your twist. You can gaze down here for more balance and keep pushing your left knee and right elbow together. Slowly pick your right leg up and take it to the back of your mat. Once it's back there, we're going to run over. We're just going to take the knee down, a low twist, heavy down through your front foot, and inhale, lift up on Janayasana. Allow your pelvis to move down and forward as you lift the, lift <laughs> the power of your low belly. That's how we can kind of unlock the psoas. Okay, and now flow your arms back like those airplane wings, or your shoulders back. Rebend your left knee, reach your arms, lift your back knee. On the exhalation, push into your left foot, step forward, hands to heart center. And separate your feet apart, hips distance, rest your arms by your sides, Tadasana. Take inventory. You scan your body with your awareness. You scan your body with your breath. Just notice any changes, big or small, since we began. How does your energy feel? Do you feel warm? How are your legs, your hips, are your shoulders opening? Just notice, without a single down dog or chaturanga or cobra, what you've been able to generate. Please walk your feet a little bit wider. Let's go like two times hip width. Feet parallel, unlock your knees, arms by your sides, turn your palms forward. Keep your heart up, eyes on the horizon, hinge your hips back, load your heels with weight. As soon as you hinge, you'll start to feel, hopefully your glutes turn on a little bit. If not, give them a little bit of an extra squeeze. Eyes on the horizon, pull the front ribs in. And now reach your arms forward, Hakini Mudra, make a spear with your fingers. Press into your finger pads. Lift the mudra up on a diagonal from your forehead center, third eye. Counter reach your hips and your hands away from each other. Keep hinging back, lengthen through your spine, and fold all the way down. Let's come into a big functional forward fold. Stay up on fingertips, pull the hips behind your heels, micro bend your knees. From here, Turn your feet ever so slightly out, like the, the tiniest amount out. Push your heels down and apart, and as you're pushing your heels apart, bend your knees lower and come into a squat. Malasana, or squat. And from this earth squat, with or without the help from your hands, have a seat. Plop. <laughs> all right. So I was plopping. <laughs> plopping all the way down. Okay, here we go. So seated. Bring your feet together. Separate your knees apart. Advaja Konasana. Support the outer edges of your feet. Draw your lower back in and up. Okay, stay upright here for a moment. Take your inner thighs, push them down, push them apart. And on your exhalation, fold over your legs. Just move your breath into your pelvis, into your lower back. Even though we're seated, the legs are very active. Inner thighs push away from each other.
And then slowly bring yourself upright. Draw your knees in. Okay. Dorsi flex your feet. So put your feet in front of your knees a few or several inches. Pull your toes back. Dorsi flex, arms forward. Keep your legs strong, tone through your core, and take your time as you lie down one vertebra at a time, all the way down with control. Okay, and then relax for just a moment, a little mini Shavasana. From here, anchored bridge pose. Turn your fingertips toward the floor and stay high on your fingertips like you're, if you did a Hakini Mudra and then you split your hands, your hands should be like each half of Hakini Mudra on the floor. Bring your big toe joints together until they touch. Keep your heels slightly apart, flex your feet, bend your knees a few inches, like two inches, until your knees can come together or towards each other. Okay, turn your thighs internally and try to bring your thighs together. They may or may not touch, but the action is that you turn the legs in and work to close the thighs together and the knees together. Draw the front of your rib cage into your body and take a huge breath into the back of your body. Okay, pull your heels down and back and pull your hips to your heels until your hips float up off the floor. A lot of strength here in the hamstrings. Pull the heels down and back. Take your hands, Hakini Mudra, overhead. Front ribs in, squeeze your inner thighs. Keep pulling your heels down and back. Hips are up off the ground. Now take Hakini Mudra, reach it behind you. Don't let it touch the floor. And keep the front ribs in. Take another big breath into the back of your body as you strengthen the posterior chain muscles. And now reach the hands up. Take your fingertips to the floor, set your hips down, and fully relax. That pose is a huge call to action for the back of the body. And after doing an anchored bridge, a regular bridge is like a walk in the park. <laughs> so please bend your knees, bring your feet to the ground, hips distance, parallel. With your arms alongside your body, let the strength of that previous shape inform the way you take your bridge pose back bend. Okay, root your shoulders back and please lift your hips up. Set to bandha. Turn your thighs internally. Okay, pull your heels down and back. You're welcome to interlock your fingers, walk your shoulders underneath. Draw your chin out of your chest. Enjoy one more full deep breath. And then relax your hands and bring your hips back down. Draw your knees in, sway a little bit from side to side. You cross your right ankle to your left knee, Suchi Randrasana, just like we did in the balance on our feet, but here on the floor, and it's a really nice supported opening. Offer a few really deep breaths into your lower back, into your outer hips. And then we'll release it and do the other side. And slowly release your second side once again. Happy baby. How we were in the very beginning. And make happy baby an active form. Pull on the feet and push your feet into your hands at the same time. If you wish, reach your legs out wide. Sukta Konasana.
Maybe join your legs, bend your knees, give yourself a little squeeze and stretch out for Shavasana. Allow your palms to rest up. Soften your belly completely. You close your eyes if it feels okay to do so. And just give your body and your mind and your heart a little time to fully rest and release into the support of the earth. I hope this practice serves you, especially when you need to find your feet to take a stand and to just let your hands and your wrists have a little bit of a rest. Thank you for your practice. Namaste.